Hey everyone, it's me Donna. I hope everyone had a wonderful Christmas holiday and New Year's is right around the corner. It's just hard to believe 2020 is coming up. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, I'm making this video to uh, let you guys know that I'm <clears throat> working on some ideas that I have, uh, which I've mentioned them in previous videos and everything. Um, but I've been thinking more and more about my scent ideas, uh, perfumes and all that stuff. I've just been kind of playing around with different scents and all that. And I've even went and created some shirts um, that I've made available for sale uh, on my Teespring uh, store. Uh, might even make them available on my Red uh, Bubble store not sure yet um but anyway um so i'm definitely you know i've got these formulas in mind uh one of them is called alien frost <laughs> and so you know there's a you know handful of some other ones as well um but i'm gonna keep playing around until i get you know scents that i like and everything and just kind of you know talk a little bit about them and i may even do like a <laughs> kind of like a tutorial video on just you know like a, a scent that I create out of my head or whatever um kind of based on other YouTube videos that I've watched because I'm no expert I don't know anything about scents or anything like that but I have watched you know other videos and I've got some ideas and I thought well maybe I'll just share that with some of you guys out there and maybe somebody you know find them interesting whatever you know, just for fun, just for the heck of it. So just keep in mind <laughs> that it's an idiot that's doing the video, okay? Uh, so yeah. Um, but anyway, um, <clears throat> also I have this idea for a uh, perfume on demand website. Uh, you know, I looked it up. I thought, well, are there perfume on demand well websites out there? Are they even, you know, available? And what I've came across so far are the kind that where you order yourself, like you, you know, use whatever base in, uh, things that they've got on the website and you create your own designer perfume for your own use or whatever or you can gift it to people or whatever but my idea would be kind of like uh companies like teespring uh and amazon and all these other companies that are doing this uh print on demand for like t-shirts and all that stuff well in this idea you know, this would be like a website to where you can sell your own uh, designer fragrances that you come up with yourself. Uh, you can sell it to the public. I mean, how cool would that be? Um, so what you would do is you'd go on the website, you would pick your bottle sizes, then uh, you could pick your ratios, uh, design, uh, you know, your, you know, you pick out your oils, your scented oils, do all that. And then you set up your pricing and you make your, and of course, design your packaging and then you make it available uh to the public and even uh, have like samples to where you know people can just order your samples if they don't want to go ahead <coughs> excuse me and take a chance of ordering like a whole bottle of something uh they can just order a sample of your uh perfume and decide if they like it or not and if they like it then you know they can go ahead and order the other so i think that would be cool you know and people can you know can become their own uh fragrance designers and like i said just make it available to the public it'd be something different than you know what you see at Walmart or your average um, store out there. Uh, people can design their own thing. Um, I think that would be so cool. Of course, it would just, it would be also like uh, in the spirit of Teespring as far as not being able to copy someone else's designs or their name, stuff like that. I can understand like whoever does the, the website would have to, um, it would have to be set up to where it would recognize if someone is trying to steal someone else's design or uh, their, um, 
their design, their name and the exact scent, something like that. Like it would put a stop to that. And it would let you know if you're tiptoeing on someone else's thing, like it would take down your listing and everything like immediately as soon as as soon as it spots it um that's the way teespring does and these other uh websites do if they sense that you're copying someone else then they will immediately take down your your listing so that's how this would pretty much be done as well so that way you know it would keep people from stealing it i mean I, you can't really steal still a scent on its own so to speak because uh you know scents are out there there's all kinds of oils and all that um so unless you try to steal a name with a scent or whatever then if you try something like that uh you know and 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 copy it right down to the T, you know, uh, let's just say like Chanel number five, um, you can design your own scent that from this website that smells just like Chanel number five, but yet it won't be, and it won't, uh, infringe upon their copyright or anything. Do you, do you understand what I'm saying? I hope so. <laughs> um, but anyway, that's kind of how, this would be, you know, set up and based. So it's like it would be protecting uh, people, including the big designers or whatever, but yet allow you to design something that, you know, even if you want to have something that's close to, like if you just love Chanel Number no. 5 and you want to create something that smells a lot like it, you can do that. and But yet it won't infringe upon anything you know what i mean uh but that that's how you know in donna's world this website would be designed so it, it would take in order to create this just like with teespring and these other uh print on demand or whatever on demand companies you know it would take people that know what they're doing to actually um you know set everything up uh the website and all that uh to where you know, everything will go smoothly. Uh, also, as a lot of you know, uh, there's certain uh, oils out there that are very uh, irritating irritating to the skin. Uh, say like peppermint, uh, cinnamon, that type of stuff. There would be like a limit, which I will discuss this more when I actually make the video. Um, there would be like a set limit as to how much you can actually add to the uh, the product or whatever, depending on the ratio that you set up, because, you know, you don't want to uh, put something out there that's going to irritate people's skin. Uh, so naturally, uh, scientists and stuff would have to be consulted. People in the, the scent and perfume industry, there would have to be someone like that on board to, um, to be able to set the website up to where, you know, people wouldn't be able to create something that is going to, I mean, everybody's skin's different. I understand that. Uh, some people are very sensitive to even one drop of peppermint oil, you know, but, they can base it on the average person, so to speak, to where it would be considered safe, uh, you know, to an average customer. Uh, so, yeah, we take someone that, that knows about, like, what the limit would be, uh, the safe limit would be on allowing that. Because, like, in my mind, the way the website is set up, when you go to create your web, your your perfume after you do do your ratios or whatever then you're allowed uh you know so many drops like you go through and you pick out like oh i love you know ylang ylang or i love peppermint or whatever well you go through and you pick out you know you just start going like one drop at a time to pick out the scent or whatever or you can set it up to you know 10 drops of ylang ylang or whatever but like i said there would be a limit on like peppermint and cinnamon and stuff like that okay um so you would only be allowed to put so many drops of that so you'd have to keep that in mind when you make your scent okay uh even though i know like me i love peppermint but it it is irritant 
you know, it is an irritant, excuse me. And, and I, I have found that out the hard way. Uh, but, but I do love it. I love the smell of peppermint. Um, but yet, like I said, you know, there, there definitely would have to be like a limit set on that. Uh, so if you come, if you keep, um, let's just say you do, you know, your formula and you're down to your last little bit or whatever. Well, there can, um, if you're kind of at that little limit there, uh, but you, you know, you can't add any more peppermint, you don't want to add any more other scents to it, then it will allow you to add fillers, say like a, uh, was it jojoba oil or some other type of oil that, that doesn't really have much of a scent to it by itself, you can add those to it as well. So, you know, like if you're right there, right at the end, you're like, ah, uh, I don't want to, I don't want to add no more ylang ylang and I can't add no more cinnamon and blah, blah, blah. What am I going to do? Well, you can just have that added in there, you know, and that way it doesn't, you know, you don't have to change your scent anymore. You got it where you want it. And you just have your little bit of a filler and there you go, you know, that type of thing. So that really you can't go wrong with it, in other words, you know. And then, like I said, you can set it up to where uh, samples can be offered. So even you yourself can order, like you do your final thing and everything and you set it up, okay, then you can order a sample and then... Uh, when you get it at home and you smell it, if it's not quite right or you don't like it, you can go back and change the formula. Like it will be set up to where, you know, you might can add, uh, you can take away certain things and then maybe add more ylang ylang or, or sandalwood or whatever, you know, whatever it is you think that it needs. You can perfect it, so to speak. So it will allow that or at least in Donna's world it would you know but I think that's something that's missing I mean why not I mean we you know we've got all this other on-demand stuff out there other products and everything why not have a company that will actually let you become a what I would call kind of like a real designer instead of just designing perfume for yourself and paying some big pricey expensive thing for it you can design for the whole public and if other people like it they can buy your product and and like I said they can if they you know just want to try it out a sample at a time well they can do that you know so but anyway I know I'm babbling on about that but that that's one idea that I have for that and then also I plan on making more videos about more ideas that I have for like my town and, uh, you know, uh, industrial type stuff. So, yeah, I just, you know, I just got to let these ideas just kind of spin around for a little bit and then I can <laughs> spit them back out. Um, but anyway, I just kind of wanted to say hey to everybody and uh i hopefully will see you guys in the new year talk to you later bye